This church over and over when you came through here, you ain't come to stay. You just passing through. Right. Yes, sir. God just loaned you one another for a while. He ain't gave you nobody. That's Amen. right. Isn't that right? He yes, just loan you one another. And when God get ready, he take whom he will. And he ain't got to have a mean with nobody. That's he right. ain't got to stop by and say, well, Pastor Mill, who you got doing devotion on uh, next Sabbath? Because I was playing on move. He ain't going to ask me nothing. That's what I'm taking. You can get who yes, you want to get. That's right. And you can put that dead corpse up there and get a prayer or scripture out of it. Go ahead and sit it up down. Mm. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. This is the ninth chapter of the book of Daniel beginning at verse 1. Yes, sir. Listen to the book. In the first year of Darius. In the first year of Darius. The son of Ahasuerus. Uh -huh. Of the seed of the Medes. Uh -huh. Which was made king of the realm of the Chaldeans. Okay. In the first year of his reign, mm -hmm. I, Daniel, understood by books. Ain't the... Daniel good things. I understood by the book. Isn't yes, that right? Sir. Yes, sir. So a whole lot of people read the Bible. They don't got no understanding. Mm. God gave these men understanding. Daniel had understanding. See that Daniel chapter 1 about verse 17 from right quick, Brother John. Ain't God all right? Amen. See, folks in the room, when God said these men here, Daniel, you know, they were eunuchs. Mm -hmm. right. Isn't that right? When you hear that, you know, a lot of people coming on and say the Bible contradicts itself in the 23rd chapter. They say he that they wounded in the stone or have a private member cut off, say he can't enter into the congregation of the Lord. So when they read when Daniel and them say they were unit, they say, well, that contradicts itself. They were unit. That's why Jesus told me that in the book of Matthew, the 19th chapter, he said they are eunuchs of men. Yes, sir. And they're eunuchs of the God. Well, man, they're going to cut their private member off. That's a eunuch of man. That ain't never been God's way. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ain't that right? Then you got to know that unit for the gospel. When he told Peter it wasn't so, a man couldn't have another wife except it was for fornication. He said, Peter said, the case of man be so, it good not to marry. Yes, he right. said, but all men can't receive it, say it, right. say to whom is given. Yes, sir. If God ain't made you no unit, you better make yourself one. Amen. Amen. Instead of unit, you going to mess up. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I tell you, we got to understand it concerning this thing. Yes, sir. I said, Daniel chapter 1, I think about verse 17. Amen. Listen to the book. As for these four children. As for these four children. These four children, these were young men. That's why they called them children. They were young men. Listen to the book. God gave them knowledge. This is what God gave. A whole lot of folks, they got there from, should have said they got it from the seminary. They went to the same seminary. God gave them That's knowledge. That's why, why the folk fight? The folk asked me, well, you run folk down, you ain't been to seminary, ain't got to go. God gave me knowledge. Yes, sir. Amen. I don't need no other books to help me out right here. He already told me. Daniel said he got the book. He said, I understood it. Yes, sir. Now, how did he get it? He said God gave them knowledge. Listen to the book. In skill. In skill. In all learning Pain. and wisdom. Listen, God, they had that thing in there, right? Yes, Ain't God all right? Yes, sir. Back over to what you got in Daniel chapter 9. Where you at? Verse 2. Verse 2. Listen to the book. In the first year of his reign. Yeah. I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years. Uh-huh. Where the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet. You hear that? What? He's talking about Jeremiah. See, that's why I tell folks, don't, what a mess a lot of folks are. When you read the Bible, don't take it by books. After you get mm -hmm. past Deuteronomy, after you get past Joshua, you start in judging, you'll start messing up. These books are not in order. That's right. Amen. You hear him talking about Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Y'all did hear that, did you? Yes, sir. Could Jeremiah have came after Daniel? If Daniel talked about him already and the vision he had already given Jeremiah? Oh, I know what I'm talking about. Had not been told the church yes, that? Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, goodness. Yes, a Y'all heard that name somewhere else before. Y'all remember when? When I talked about that. That's right. The book of Esther, when I talked about it, Boston. Hey, Isn't that right? These books are not in order when they go there, but they still write to divide. They still come out to be true. Amen. See, a lot of people try to use that to contradict, and that's the reason why God had me to hear it, because it wasn't on me to see it. Yes, sir. But some people try to come and say the Bible, because it don't contradict. That's why you had to write to divide. Amen. It doesn't change the whole meat of the, it don't change the meat of the word. Yes, it's sir. just that you got to understand it. See, it's set up for a man and a woman that's going to be saved to be saving that's for right. a sinner to fall every time. Yes, sir. That's what they'll find a contradiction. Yes, what are you doing? Talking about his book way over here. That book, that ain't going to change what the words say, though. That's right. Isn't that right? right. Amen. Listen to the book. Where of the Lord... Where the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, uh -huh. that he would accompany 70 years in the desolations of Je Jerusalem. You hear that? He said, well, he was going to accomplish 70 years. He had 70 years. He told me he was going to cast them out of there. Mm -hmm. He was going to get king of Babylon. See if that's all. Uh, Jeremiah, see if that's 25. Listen to this. Y'all work with me. Y'all going to work with me a little bit? Yes, sir. We got to cover some ground right now, so we got to prove out what we're doing. Isn't that right? I want to try to get some understanding about this thing. Yes, see that Jeremiah 25 and about 6. Then I know 13 saying in my mind, too. We'll get about, make that Jeremiah 25 and about 5. Then I know I'm going to want Jeremiah 26 at the same time. So hold that for me, Jeremiah 26 as well. Listen to the book. This is Jeremiah chapter 25 and about verse 6. Listen to the book. And go not after other gods. That's to what serve God them. told him. He said, go not after other gods. And do what? To serve them. Uh-huh. And to worship them. And to worship them. And provoke me not 
to anger. And, don't, and provoke me not to anger. With the works of your hands. With the works of your hands. And I will do you no hurt. You hear what God said? That's why the folks are in trouble today. The very thing, and people look at, well, God told us all these things weren't going to come upon us. God said we're going to bless our basket and do all these things for us. You ain't going to do it if we kept his commandment. Yes, sir. But he said after he done turn around there and you break his commandment, God will turn around. He'll do you evil after he's done you good. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's where the trouble came and how the people got cast out. Manasseh was one of the reasons why we all got into trouble we got into. Manasseh called the people to do worse than the Amorites did. Yes, y'all women, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> Listen to the book. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me. Yet ye hadn't listened to me. Listen. Saith the Lord, mm -hmm. that ye might provoke me to anger uh -huh. with the works of your hands to your own hurt. You see, that? who, who fault is when you get hurt by the Lord? He said you do it to your own hurt because God let you know you ain't hurt me, you hurt yourself. Let me tell you something. I got people sitting right around right here in this church. And some of them at home live streaming. They know what they're doing. And they think they're getting away with it because I don't see it. You ain't hurt me. You're hurting yourself. When you continue to go around and this word been taught, you told you what you shouldn't wear, where you shouldn't go, what yes, you sir. shouldn't be saying, yes, where you, what you shouldn't be doing, you do it in the house. You do it to your own hurt. Yes, sir. Listen to the book. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Because ye have not heard my words. Behold, I will send and take all the families of the north. You hear what God said? He's going to take all the families of the north. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant. Uh-huh. And will bring them against this land. You hear what he said he's going to do? He called him his servant. See, God will turn around you that wicked man and make him his servant just to do you hurt. See, whenever you don't do what God said, God got somebody here to come and make punish you. Whole lot of these people come against these folks on your job. You've been stealing. God said, I said, that's my servant. I set them up just to do you. Put you in the condition you're in. That's right. Listen to the book. And against the inhabitants thereof. Uh huh. And against all these nations round about. He said against all these nations round about. And will utterly destroy them. And will utterly destroy them. And make them an astonishment. Uh huh. And a hissing. And a hissing. And a perpetual desolation. He said perpetual, continual desolation. Listen. Uh -huh. Moreover. Moreover. I will take from them the voice of Mary. Thank God. Say, you all that laughing. God said, I'm going to take away that laughing. Mm -hmm. God got a way of letting some troubles from sitting in your life. You are, every time you laugh, you hurt. God said, I'll take it away from you. Yes, Listen to the book. And the voice of gladness. And the voice of gladness. The voice of the bridegroom. The voice of the bridegroom. And the voice of the bride. That's why a lot of folks don't want to get married. They just shack up. Amen. Listen. The sound of the millstone. The sound of the millstone. And the light of the candle. Listen. And this whole land shall be a desolation. And this whole land shall be a desolation. And an astonishment. And an astonishment. And these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. Daniel just told you that, didn't he? Mm -hmm. See, what Jeremiah was giving you with prophecy, Daniel would come along understanding the part. That's why he said, I understood the book right off. Yes, sir. I already knew we were going to be able to say, I'm going to get here. We've been here two years talking about, Lord, come get us out tomorrow. That ain't what the book said. No, sir. That's why that's, I understood the day had I don't have knowledge and skill and wisdom concerning the book. Yes, sir. So why would I go ask God to do something he already don't put a time frame on? Amen. He ain't going to do no difference. Listen to the book. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. When 70 years are accomplished. When 70 years are accomplished. That I will punish the king of Babylon. He said, now I'm going to turn right around. I'm going to get him. Listen. And that nation. And that nation. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. For their iniquity. For their iniquity. And the land of the Chaldeans. Uh -huh. and, and will make it perpetual desolation. He said, I'm going to make it a perpetual des now, desolation. Listen. And I will bring upon that land all my words which I have pronounced against it. Come on. Even all that is written in this book. You know what God, what God is good about doing? What he say he's going to do to you going to be done. And what he say going to do to the other nation, he's going to get them too. Mm -hmm. Don't change nothing. God's plan ain't going to change. <laughs> Minister quoted something last night in Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Should right. unbelief make the faith of God without effect? He said, God forbid. He said, yeah, let God be true. Let every man be a liar. That's it. He said, well, said, trouble on me, nothing going to happen to them. No, God said, I'm going to come back and I'm going to still do what I pronounced in my word to do against your enemy. But yet, you got to pay for what you're doing now. Listen to the book. Even all that is written in this book, uh -huh. which Jeremiah had prophesied against all the nations. Yes, sir. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves uh -huh. of them also. Uh -huh. And I will recompense them according to their deeds. Yes, sir. And according to the works of their own hands. Mm -hmm. For thus saith the Lord of Israel but unto me. For thus said the Lord of Israel unto me. Take the wine cup of this fury this at is what my God hand. said God said take the wine cup of this fury at my hand and this is what he wanted him to do and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it that's something to think about ain't mm -hmm. it? God got true. something he got too God got his own wine they think that boom farm and all that stuff was pretty good badly high mm -hmm. thunderbird God said I got a drink for him yes sir and he came to Jeremiah let him know so I want you to take this wine cup at my hand God word is what gonna make him drunk yes sir he told him to take this cup at his hand this is what he wanted him to do and and they shall drink. And they shall drink. And be moved. They're going to stagger. And they're not just a, whoa, that stuff, something else. That's God's word. 
He said, go ahead and call them to drink. He said, they're going to stagger. Listen, what else they going to do? And be mad. He said, they're going to go mad. <laughs>